There's the lineup for the men's 1500 metres final, and what a race this promises to be as well. A feast of middle distance races if you were here live on Eurosport. Matt Centrowitz, or Matthew Centrowitz, I should say, the US uh, champion in this field, up against again the uh, usual host of top East Africans. Wote and Walde will be very, very tough. Suleiman there of Djibouti near the bottom. He is the defending champion. The 23-year-old has a world indoor record at 1,000 metres from earlier on this winter in uh, Stockholm. Robbie Andrews, very fast finisher. There is the danger man for my money. Ayan Late Suleiman of Djibouti, the African champion in 2014, is at 1,000 metre time. It was at 2.15 indoors and that is special he's run 13 17 for 5000 while that not might be world class it's very very strong oh, running for a 142 800 meter performer so who will take on the burden of leading nick willis straight to the back doesn't want to go with this uh, early quick tempo wote to the front he's a 329 1500 meter runner he's only had a couple of races this winter the Djiboutian Suleiman, the defending champion, moves straight to the front quite aggressively there, accelerated, and looks like he's wanting to just hold it because he's not slowed, but he doesn't want it to be too quick either. And Walde is having none of it. Wote went, was, went straight to the front. Now the other Ethiopian hits the front. 29.35 for the uh, first 200 metres. Not particularly quick. Robbie Andrews and Matthew Centrowitz in the red vest of the USA staying on the outside, they're out of trouble. Chris O'Hare towards the back on the inside. Very early days yet, of course. As, uh, they head out with six laps to run. Nick Willis, with those long, long Kiwi legs of his, will bide his time. Great tactician indoors. Like a game of chess, this. Where do you make your move? There's so much ability spread across this field. 61-81 for the first 400. It's not quick. Suleiman controlling things. You can only surmise from this that it's panning out the way he would like. If, it wanted, if he wanted anything different, he'd be doing something different. And that tells me that somebody should probably come round and uh, just dust up his race plan a little bit, blur things slightly. He's staying in front, look, and putting in a little surge, a little glance to his right. Suleiman does this. He's an aggressive racer. He wants to control things. He doesn't want anybody else to come past him. And I bet you, if somebody tries again to come past him, he'll just put in another little surge, get his head down, and go again. So Suleiman from Walde. O'Hare on the outside there, just behind Matthew Sentry. It's Wote on the inside in that other Ethiopian vest. The uh, check there, Halusa, who's a very fast finisher. Don't discount him back in, what, sixth place at the moment. The only Kenyan in this field, Vincent Kibet, an impressive winner of the Birmingham Grand Prix. Uh, indoors last winter with 334 on the outside, staying out of trouble. As they come through 800 and 20788. It's very slow, goodness me. That last uh, 400 meters has taken outside 66 seconds. It's jogging for men of this caliber. Who's going to be the first to uh, lose patience? Three laps to run. Central is looking very smooth there in third place on the outside in that red vest. Alusa giving one of the Ethiopians, Wote, I think, a big shove in the back. It's uh, still very, very bunched. But if you notice, look at this, there you go, the Djiboutian. Suleiman surges again. He will not relinquish the lead. This is so reminiscent. 237 at 1,000, they're very slow. So reminiscent of Sapot two years ago. And Suleiman loves to do this. He loves to control things and will not relinquish pole position. Willis at last loses patience, and that's a vicious surge from Willis. And Suleiman caught napping a little bit there. Willis has run really, really smartly there. Inside the last 300 metres, 27 for that 200 metres. Willis from Wilde, from uh, Matt Centrowitz there. And all of a sudden, Suleiman is gone, absolutely gone, out of the picture. 317 there for Nick Willis. Matthew Centrowitz on his shoulder. They've had amazing races, lost two Milrose games at the Armory in New York City for the last two winters. Each time, Matthew Centrowitz has come out on top. This is a replay. They're majestic races indoors, tactically very smart. Willis into the last 70 metres. Centrowitz on his shoulder. The rest of them battling. Halusa coming through with that strong finish. Centrowitz, is he going to get there? He is. And Halusa takes silver for the Czech Republic. Willis takes the bronze for New Zealand. And Centrowitz makes it yet more gold for the home crowd. They're on their feet. They cannot resist it. They probably can't believe it.
what a weekend it's been. And Matthew Sendrowitz takes his first major international championship gold. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Nick Willis, though, took the race to them. Congratulations to him. It seemed almost like he'd smacked uh, uh, Suleiman with a hammer, Chris, there, because Suleiman just folded. He wilted completely and dropped right, right back as soon as Willis surged. Well, it's so rare, isn't it, that we see the African might slayed like that. And all credit, not just to Centrovitz for winning the race, but to Nick Willis for really taking it on there. It was so bold. And to see the Ethiopians there playing catch-up really they got caught napping and Nick Willis in control here but even at this stage Centrovic you, you just sensed had something in reserve and look at Halusa here he was in sixth he's in fifth now flying around the bend the check into fourth place down the home straight fabulous legs from uh, Halusa coming through nearly uh, gets the gold I mean another 15 meters he might have caught Centrovic Willis grimacing Central, it's so, so strong, judges it perfectly, but brilliant run there. And it's USA, Czech Republic, New Zealand, one, two, three in the men's 1500 metres. That's a shock.